How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and welcome to my Rolo setup tutorial. We're gonna be setting up the Rolo wireless thermal label printer on multiple devices, an iPhone, a Mac, a Windows computer, an Android, and even a Chromebook. So if you have any of those devices and need help installing your wireless Rolo printer, getting it up and running, hopefully this tutorial will help. I do have an index in the description so you can jump right into whatever you wanna see, save you some time. Before we get into the tutorial, you need to make sure your Rolo is on your Wi-Fi network. I will put a link to that video in the corner and in the description, so make sure that you check that out before continuing. And we're not gonna be going over USB installation. This is strictly Wi-Fi. If you need USB help, I do have links to the older Rolo videos. You can check those out for both Mac and Windows. Link to them will be in the description. Without further do thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already please give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel consider subscribing and let's get into the tutorial so this part of the video is a general reference if at any point you forget something about the rollo you can reference back as a refresher or if you need some specific information so you have a back button this is a switch to turn your printer on or to turn your printer off you have a rear connector for your power and you have a rear connector for your usb cable the usb cable is for usb printing i have videos showing how to set up the old rollo with usb and it's the same process and i'll link to those videos in the description this side latch opens the printer these feed guides you can move them to get the right width for the label size that you're putting in your printer. I'm gonna be putting in four by six labels and you want your label printing surface to be facing up, which will be making contact with the thermal print head. If you put them in upside down, you're not going to get any image printed. This printer does not use ink, it does not use toner, it uses heat transfer to thermal paper to create an image. Once your labels are loaded, you can close the printer. If the labels are loaded and the top is closed when you turn the printer on, you may just get a green light. And in order for the printer to calibrate, you can open it up, close it, it should feed the labels, reading how long that they are in order to calibrate. Once you get the green light, it means that it's calibrated. If you press this R button once, it'll feed one label. If you hold the R button down to one beep, it'll calibrate again. You need to calibrate anytime you're changing label sizes or if your printer is giving you some sort of trouble, a calibration may be in order. These LEDs are codes. Green means all set and ready on the R. Red blinking means I'm having trouble with the labels, load labels, and press the R button until you hear one beep. The Wi-Fi LED indicator is also a code. White means I'm ready to be set up. You can use the Rolo app or you can do the WPS, which I've shown in my Wi-Fi video, link in the description. Blue means I'm connected, ready to receive your print jobs. You want the blue solid light. Red means I'm not connected to your Wi-Fi. Please check your Wi-Fi or rapidly press the red light 10 times to factory reset me. Green blinking means I'm updating. So green blinking means that Rolo is sending an update over wireless to the printer. It's installing firmware and updating the chips in the printer. Purple blinking is receiving a print job. Purple and yellow alternating is I'm getting ready, give me a moment. You might have seen the purple and yellow alternating when I'm turning the printer on like this. It's just booting up getting things ready, connecting to Wi-Fi, and it takes maybe a couple of minutes to get it ready. You can always come back and reference this video if you've lost this Rolo LED color card. And there's also a secret menu. This Wi-Fi LED is actually a button and it has some functions that we can do. If you press this 10 times, it'll factory reset your printer. I'm not going to do that because I don't need to factory reset my printer, but you literally press this button 10 times. So you'd go one, two, three, four. You see it going red every time you would go to 10 and it would factory reset your printer, but I'm not gonna do that. If you hold it from zero to five seconds, you can get a print network test page. So we're gonna hold it from zero to five seconds. It turns green and it's going to print us a print network test page. This has information like our serial number, the versions that are installed. It has the printer IP address, which we're gonna go over later on in the video, how to change some settings and some more information. The other part of the secret menu that you might use 
is the WPS onboarding. You hold it for six to 10 seconds, you get a blinking blue light, and that is for setting up Wi-Fi, which we go over in a different video. Link to that video is in the description. If you hold it for 26 to 30 seconds, you get it factory reset. It's the same thing as if you press it 10 times, so you can factory reset it two different ways. You're probably not going to use any of the other functions, but they are here for reference. And remember, Rolo does have a phone number with their customer support. It's 702-602-8827. They will probably be able to solve your problem faster than I can answer the YouTube comments. You bought your printer from them and it should ultimately be up to them for customer support, not some random dude on YouTube that they won't even approve for their affiliate program. If your labels are loaded, your Wi-Fi is blue, your Rolo light is green. I'll see you guys on the iPhone because that's where we're going to be printing from first. Here I am on a brand new iPhone that I've never printed to this printer from. Our printer is in blue light ready, green light ready mode. If yours isn't, make sure you check out the video in the description connecting your printer to Wi-Fi. Make sure that your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer. You can see that by swiping down at the top right corner, clicking on that Wi-Fi, seeing that your Wi-Fi is indeed connected. Then we're going to open up the label that we're trying to print or the document that we're trying to print, and then we're going to go to square with the up arrow down here on an iPad it might be on the top so do be aware of that I will put a link to this sample label in the description of this video so you can follow along then we're going to scroll down go to print and then where it says select printer we're going to tap it automatically recognizes that the Rolo X1040 is on our Wi-Fi, so we're going to click on that the paper it automatically recognizes is four by six inches so we're just going to hit print. And just like that, it's sending the signal from our phone to our printer. R signal is receiving when it turns purple. And we have our beautiful sample label printed from our phone. You're going to have to make sure that your platform settings are in four by six format. Otherwise you're going to be printing sideways. It's gonna be giving you a headache. I have a video going over platform settings. I will put a link to that in the corner as well as in the description. Make sure to check that out. It will save you so much headache and frustration and you won't wanna throw your printer out the window if you check out that video. Now we're going to install the wireless printer on our Mac. We're gonna do it wirelessly. You're gonna to have to be in blue light, green LED mode. If your printer's not already connected to your Wi-Fi, make sure to check out the link of connecting the printer to the Wi-Fi in the description. Otherwise, this isn't going to work and I'll see you guys on the computer. You're going to either click this system preferences gear icon down here, or you can go to this little magnifying glass in the corner and type in printers. Printers and scanners comes up. You're going to click on that. If you go the gear, icon you just click on gear icon and then you look for printers and scanners which is down here you click on that and it brings you to this window you're going to want to make sure that your computer is connected to the same Wi-Fi network that your Rolo printer is connected to ours is called eight foot ceilings 5g we are indeed connected to it and we're going to hit the plus icon then it's going to pull up any printers that are recognized on your network. And right here is the Rolo X1040. We're going to click on that. And the beautiful thing about this printer is that it automatically recognizes the Rolo X1040 label printer driver. You don't have to download anything because they made a driver that's air print compatible. It makes it super easy to install. We're going to hit add. It set up the device. It even has a nice little picture of your printer. I recommend that you use the Google Chrome browser. Now we're going to do a test print and I'll put a link to the test print in the description so you can follow along. We're going to click on the sample label. It's going to open it up in our Chrome browser and I recommend that you use the Chrome browser because it's gonna look different on Safari and Chrome browser is just a better browser in general. We're gonna hit the print icon up here. It's going to pull up this. You wanna make sure your destination is checked as the X1040. The paper size could auto-populate, and if it doesn't, then you click down and do four by six. You can scale default and it'll not be centered, but if you scale fit to paper or scale to fit to printable area, kind of centers it a little bit better. And then from here, we're going to hit print. It's gonna send the signal from our computer through our Wi-Fi. Blinking purple means the signal is receiving. The printer receives it and it prints out thermal 
sample label. That's how you set up your Rolo thermal printer on your Mac. And something that you're gonna wanna check out is a video that I have on four by six settings within your platform. You're gonna wanna make sure that you change all of the settings correctly for eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Shopify, or whatever. You're gonna need to go in and look for the four by six settings because usually it defaults to eight and a half by 11. I have a video going over that for a lot of platforms. I will put a link to that video in the description. Make sure to check that out to save yourself a ton of headache. Now we're gonna install the Rolo wireless printer on our Windows computer. We're gonna do it on Windows 10 and we're also gonna show you guys Windows 11. And before we start, you wanna make sure your printer is in blue LED Wi-Fi and the green LED as well. If you haven't already connected it to your wireless network, make sure to check out the video in the description because you need to do that first before installing it on your computer. On your PC, you're going to go down here to this finder, type in printers, and it should pop up with printers and scanners, system settings, so you're gonna click on that. And then from there, you're going to click on add a printer or a scanner. It should pop up right here if you are connected to your same network as your Rolo printer and your Rolo printer is connected properly. If it doesn't pop up, you can hit refresh, maybe restart your computer. I was having trouble with it popping up and I did have to hit refresh a couple times and then it finally popped up. And then once it does, you're going to click on Rolo and add device. It's going to connect and it's, it's going to install the driver on your Windows 10 computer. Once it says ready, you can X out of that. Open up Google Chrome. There is a link in the description of this video to this 4x6 sample label. I encourage you to go there so you can follow this step by step. We're on the Google Chrome browser. We're going to hit print. It would look different if you're on Microsoft Edge, so I encourage you to get onto Google Chrome if possible. If your destination doesn't say Rolo, you're going to click that. Go to see more and then your Rolo should pop up somewhere in here. Click on that. Your paper size is what you're going to be printing. Ours is four by six. Scale is going to be set to default. We're going to click on that and go to fit to printable area. And that will make that into the center instead of a little bit offset. Then you're going to hit print. It's going to send the signal from the computer to the printer. It's going to blink purple and print our beautiful sample label. It's pretty much the same process on Windows 11, except for the magnifying bar is in a little bit of a different place, and then you hit add a printer, but it is confirmed working on Windows 11, same process. Now, before you just ditch this video, make sure to check out another video I have linked in the description showing you how to change the settings on your platform. For instance, on eBay, or Etsy or wherever you're gonna be printing these labels from, you need to change those settings from that platform into four by six so you're not printing weird, large sideways labels. It's just gonna save you some headaches, so make sure to check out that video. Now we're gonna set the printer up with an Android device such as an Android phone or a tablet. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your printer is on solid blue LED for the Wi-Fi and green LED for the Rolo Square. If you don't already know how to set that up, check the link in the description on how to set your printer up to the Wi-Fi. Then you're gonna grab your phone, make sure you're on the same Wi-Fi network as your Rolo printer, otherwise it's not going to work. Open up the shipping label that you're going to use. I'll put a link to this one in the description so you can follow along step by step. Then you're going to go to three dots at the top and then you're going to hit print. If you don't see the Rolo printer up here in the top left, hit that drop down, pick the Rolo printer from this list. If it's not there, go to all printers and see if it's there. If it's not populating, try restarting your phone, disconnecting, reconnecting to the internet or double checking to make sure that your phone and your printer are indeed connected to the same network. If you hit this drop down, you get a couple more options. Everything looks good. We're going to tap the print icon there. I have gotten that error once before it says this printer provided a new security certificate and I need to accept it. So I'm gonna hit accept. That has something to do with Wi-Fi security. I just hit accept and then it sent the signal from the phone to the printer. And now we have our beautiful sample label. You only have to accept the certificate one time unless you network reset your Rolo printer. Otherwise, you should be good to go. Before you X out of the video, I want you to watch another tutorial on formatting your labels in eBay, on Amazon, on Facebook Marketplace, Etsy, to the four by six format because they come in eight and a half by 11. It's super important to go and do that. Otherwise, you're gonna be frustrated with a headache trying to send eight and a half by 11 from your phone to your printer when these aren't eight and a half by 11 labels. Make sure to check that video out in the description and enjoy your Android thermal printing. Now we're going to set up the Rolo printer on a Chromebook and make sure you have the blue 
solid Wi-Fi light and the green square Rolo LED. Those are indicative of ready status connected to Wi-Fi. If your printer is not already connected to Wi-Fi, check the link in the description. Follow that video specifically on setting your printer up to Wi-Fi. Once it's connected to Wi-Fi in this state, I'll see you guys on the computer. You guys are gonna have to bear with me on this. I can't find a good screen recorder for Chromebooks, so I'm using the camera. Once you're logged in, you're gonna wanna connect to the same Wi-Fi internet as your Rolo thermal printer. Once you are connected to the same Wi-Fi, you're just gonna click down here in this little oval. It brings up this menu. You're gonna go to this gear icon, which is settings. That's going to open settings. You're gonna go up here to search settings, and you're gonna type in printer and there should be an add a printer drop down. That's what we're gonna click on. It brings up printers, your saved printers. I have a Zebra printer saved. Right here, it should automatically populate the Rolo X1040. We're gonna hit save. If it's not popping up, you might wanna check, make sure you're on the right network and that your Rolo printer is indeed on the same Wi-Fi network. Saved. We're going to open up a test print. I have a sample label. I will put a link to this in the description so you can follow along step by step for your convenience. We're gonna go to the print icon up here at the top right, hit that. And then where it says destination, we're gonna click that drop down. go to see more. And then we're going to click on the Rolo X1040. And you can go to more settings. This is where you change your paper size and you can go to scale, fit to print printable area. That'll center it a little bit and then you're going to hit print. That'll send a wireless signal to your thermal printer. You will get a blinking purple light and you should get a beautiful thermal label printed. And before you guys head out of here, I want you to check out one more video. It's about setting up eBay settings. I put a link to it in the description. It's gonna be changing the settings on eBay, Etsy, the platforms themselves to four by six, otherwise it's gonna be a big headache. It'll save you guys some time and headache, so make sure to check that video out to change your labels to four by six. And last but not least, I wanna show you how to change some basic settings on your Rolo printer, like darkness, print speed, and, and how you would add custom label size and dimensions. You're going to need to press this Wi-Fi button. It is indeed a button. You're gonna to need to press and hold this. It's gonna turn red and then it's gonna turn green. As soon as it turns green, release. It's going to print out this printer test page. You can then take your phone with the camera app on either Android or iOS, and you're going to scan that QR code down there at the bottom. Tap on that QR code. It will bring you to this menu. You can go to configuration change. From here, you can tap on media and you can add a custom size of media in inches or in millimeters. You would hit save change after you're done. You can go to printing defaults. This is where you would change your print quality, your print darkness. You can turn it up and down your print speed, you can turn it up or down, and then you would hit save changes at the end. If you don't have a mobile device, you would take this IPv4 address the 192.168 point something point something. Type that into an internet browser and it should bring you up onto the same menu. That's it for this tutorial. I know it was long-winded. There's so many different systems that this printer works on and I wanted to make a nice video with an index that people could just click on and navigate it easily in order to help save some headache and some time. And remember, Rolo does have a phone number with their customer support. It's 702-602-8827. They will probably be able to solve your problem faster faster than I can answer the YouTube comments. You bought your printer from them and it should ultimately be up to them for customer support, not some random dude on YouTube that they won't even approve for their affiliate program. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.